guys. Welcome back to a unseasonably summery March day. Today we are, oh Christ, out the back of the re-motorcycled shed, looking at a few bits and bobs. Get this XS750 running. So anyone who saw the last video knows that I've got that old XS750 and I've got a bit of a, a plan, I guess, for the next few months just to work on that and get that back up and running. A bit of a, a bit of a, a decoy build to, to get me moving a little bit. So one of the things I spoke about was these fucking planes and want to interrupt my... It's fun living next to an airport. That's why I'm trying to move out of this goddamn shithole. Anyway, um, yeah, one of the things I spoke about in the last video was the box of bits that I have. So, we'll take a look at this. Uh, I've got my GoPro. Take a look at what we've got. There's quite a lot of stuff here from the project before that I bought, I acquired. It started to clean up already. So that's what gave me a bit of confidence about this build, knowing that we'll actually have everything I need. So, if we have a little look at the GoPro, See what we've got. Have a little detour. So, come here, a box of bits. Um, I was just digging out bits and bobs, uh, sump plug, oil filter. We need to get that on. Um, what have we got here? Uh, this is a little bit of good advice for anyone looking to do a build. Always, even though this has got nothing in it now, but Ziploc bags. You may not come back to these for a while, but I know these are drive shaft bolts, so I'll figure out the rest, which is handy. Um, got a lot of stuff in here. Spare side covers. I think that's quite a good side cover, actually. Um, fork seals. Just gonna go with the standard forks, I think. Uh, what the hell's that? Looks like a knuckle off of the um, shaft drive. I'm looking for one thing in particular, I can't find it yet, uh, which is for, this is part of it, this is part of it, electronic ignition, let me see if I can find it, oh, this is handy, it's set to split the cases, I'm also waiting for a delivery of steel for projects, but, um, so I might have to cut this video short, stuff and junk and things, Front wheel bearings, drive, engine foot peg mounts. Man, there's a lot of good shit in here. Something to make a, a whole bike small to. Some brand new hell uh, brake lines. Some painted and primed lower forks, which probably needs done again because of the way I've stored it. Um, brake pads, springs, final drive, uh, rear master cylinder. Jeez, oh. Not in bad nick either. Not in bad nick, which is good. So, Um, God, this dog, dog's clean up. Rufus, come. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll come back to that, find that bit that I need. Uh, probably, probably move this next door. So, if we go a little wander, shit in hell, you can see bits are missing, coils, Carburetors, I take this off just to have a little look. Seems to be running fine. Um, gonna get the start motor running, get a battery across that. So I'm gonna go and rob a few bits from the um, Panther just to get it going. Oh Christ, it's been a while. We'll go to the other garage, part of my empire. Uh, there we go. So, bits I need to rob off Panther are coils, 
got them robbed already it did not cut them off got a compression tester I'm gonna check that as well uh, they've got you've got new spark plug caps um I'm only gonna partially wire this up I think I might use this uh, actual juice thing I did a video on that I'll put a wee link in the description as to getting that wired up but I've got I've got stuff partially wired up which is real handy for this because it makes it a little bit easier for getting it up and running so I've got McCuney Mark II carbs somewhere in the garage um, new oil filter so I think what I'm going to do is um, find all the bits I need lay them out and then just go through a systematic process of assembling them hoping that uh, yeah uh, everything is as it should be when we when we check so we'll, we'll, we'll get the we'll get the take a battery out get the starter motor turning we'll get it filled with oil battery out start a motor turning check the compression in each cylinder make sure we're happy with that um, and then it's just a case of starting to get the wiring in exhaust on fuel up I don't think I need to do everything wiring wise I think I could get it running at least just ticking over, just fired up, without having to put absolutely everything in. Um, so, yeah, we will, we will, we will go through. We will go through that process. So let's get the um, let's get everything dug out, stuck next to the bike, and we'll pick this up when we're ready to start doing a few bits and bobs. Here we go. The only reason people used to watch this channel, and probably still do. Hey, yeah. You gonna help Dad? Nah, you're shit. You're shit at building bikes, Dad. So, those bits on the table are, um, I think, everything that we need initially to get the bike running. However, this is the old electronic ignition. I don't know where the old loom is, so I can't find the uh, connector to get it to connect all of that up. I can connect from the um, the pickup coil, the pickup thing on the rotor on the uh, side of the crank, but I can't connect it to the coils. Or, or I could, I guess, I could just make my own connector. Um, I might do that. Uh, the alternative is I just rob the. Uh, Rob the, the rob the one the Neutronics one off Panther as well, just for the just to completely rip it of everything that it has to try and get this bike going. But we shall see. Uh, everything else though, I know the engine takes three point two liters of oil if you do an oil change. So I'm gonna chuck the filter on and fill it up with three point two liters of oil, and then I think what I'll probably do is take the battery out and connect the battery to the um, uh, coil uh, the starter motor and we will well I'll, I'll turn it around a bit first get some oil in around the uh, everywhere it needs to be but uh, get the starter motor connected and then we'll do a compression test against all three cylinders so we'll get that set up and yeah maybe load a metal montage it's been a while enjoy
Yo. So, where we left at yesterday was um, no compression on cylinders one and three, and partial compression on cylinder two. But this engine had been sat. Where was my bread ready? This engine had been sat for a while um, with low oil in it. So. I don't think there's anything wrong with the timing. I'd rebuilt the cylinder head. I've taken the rocker cover off to have a wee look. I've had a look through here. They can't really see it, but look through the inlet and outlet to see how the valves are moving. And they seem to be moving slow, but still moving. So I've got a wee oil can. I'm gonna just squirt some oil in uh, to the key places that need it, um, just to aid lubrication a little bit. And then we'll have a look I've not really got any concerns that this isn't running right. I checked the timing marks and everything else. And so I, d I did, that was obviously the first thing I thought of was, well done, you absolute retard, you put this engine together wrong. I'm not writing that off, that still might be the case, but I want to try a few other things first. I've charged this battery also, so hopefully we've got a bit more cold crank cranking amps, and I've also got jump leads as well, rather than having to rely on uh, this, not that that cable's not good, but the connection's not good, so I just want to kind of get the engine turning a bit more, so... Um, wish me luck. Still not very good. Ninety-five. So, one hundred and fifteen, ninety-five, twenty. Which is fucking shite. It's not really that good, and I don't know how much of it. it sounds laboured as well. I thought it would, with a the starter motor should be with a car battery that's fully charged. Granted, it's my old Range Rover battery, but I thought it should be more powerful than that. I'm not gonna use another bike battery because the last time I did that with my lithium battery, it, it gubbed it, so. Um, that's okay though. Well, it isn't, it isn't. Um, I think I can rescue it. I did this for, no oh Christ, maybe longer. 2016's when I got this bike, so 2017's when I, 2016, 2017 is when I first started looking at it. Um, and I'm not gonna say I've magically developed a lot more skills, but I do have a lot more confidence in my abilities just from being around bikes for a bit longer. And I'm, I'm not saying I've done something wrong when I rebuilt this top end, but that's not. I, do, I just don't know whether it's as good as it could be. So um, I think a good comparison might even be Doing it on the one. Uh, oh shit! I've not got a. I've not got a thing either. Hello, neighbour. I've not got a um, starter motor assembled. Um, yeah. This quick and dirty builds. <laughs> Fast becoming not so quick and dirty. I wonder if you can get those big bore kits. No. No. Leave it with me, I'll have a think. Come back to this video. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Hopefully this is in focus. Right, so, um, when I cut off the video last time, the compression was looking low across all three cylinders, which got me thinking a little bit. I was a bit, I wasn't, I don't know what's going on with this bike, it's been, I picked it up, I did a cylinder head rebuild, I think correct, but however, um, yeah, the, I, there was something I never checked was the compression at the time, before I stripped it down, because it was, I wanted to have a look at it, so this is the first time I actually checked the compression, and it's slow, but then I, I ran through the motions a little bit, this bike's been sat for a while, oil might not be getting where it needs to be, the lubrication might not be there, the, uh, so a few other things, so I went through the process of shoving some oil down the barrels, um, two out of the three cylinders improved, uh, almost as good as factory spec, and that is cold and 
um, not been ran, and so like we're starting to see good compression to the three cylinders. One of the cylinders, so two of them were 140 and 150. One of the cylinders was 45, which is a bit dog shit to be honest. So what I've done is <laughs> committed to running the bike anyway. So I was watching a video by Classic Octane, Taylor over at Classic Octane. And I don't want I don't watch a lot of his videos, but I do quite like him and I like his I like his approach to builds, but he had a uh, he had an old CB750 where one of the cylinders was low in compression and his logic was look when you leave these bikes if they're stored up correctly or incorrectly probably this one wasn't as stored up as best it could be but when you leave these bikes they there's going to be a valve that's not closed or not open so it's halfway through a cycle and regardless of what's happening there this valve might get a little bit sticky or, or otherwise or, or piston stuck in a position where Yes, running the starter motor can help get that moved a little bit, but nothing like 5,000 RPM uh, for 30 seconds a minute is really going to clear that uh, with, with, with combustion and everything else. So, think, why the fuck is this dead? Ugh. So, uh, ignore that battery is dying, it's flashing. So, I, um, I've committed to getting this thing running anyway. So, just now we're fitting the new Tronics ignition. Uh, that's partially done. I just need to do a few more wires, make sure that's right and the timing set properly, and then we'll get the carburetors on. We'll get some fuel. We'll do this, the final bit of wiring, and then we'll start it up and see what's what. So I'm going to film the rest of this on the GoPro because this camera is a piece of shit with a very short battery. See you in a minute. back on sparks on sparky boys on so this could either go catastrophically well is that a thing this could either go unbelievably well or catastrophically bad wish me luck I'm not putting a muffler on
Okay, this is the last stitch effort using my Cerakoted carbs. I don't really want to be doing this, but I also would quite like to hear this thing run. So, you know, you know, I need to be careful not to get something's hot. All right, let's try this. I'm not. Oh, right, that was um, rather intense and <laughs> looking back at the video, my god this dog keeps shitting, I'm <laughs> not going to show you that, actually. it's disgusting. Um, I think I got off pretty lucky with that, uh, I'll probably do a breakdown, oh my god, I keep shitting again, what's wrong with you, you okay? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> start again. So, I think I got off um, pretty lucky with that, that was... I had, I guess, 10 minutes to let my nerves settle and have a wee think. Um, I'm a retard. I've not got a fire extinguisher handy or even in my garage. That's really poor planning. Uh, really bad planning. I don't know. That's, yeah, so. Um, there was a float bowl leak and whether I noticed it subconsciously, I that was retarded. The way I was starting the bike had a, an arc that caused a spark that set that whole thing off. Have I had my eyebrows singed? No, I'm okay. Um, yeah, I got as lucky as I could be considering how fucking retarded that was. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's, bit, that's bitten me pretty hard. I, I, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Um, carbs are looking a bit tatty, but uh, on the whole, they're okay. These uh, breathers have the bullet. Um, the bike, I think the electronic ignition's alright. It's not really meant to get wet, but it can, it is waterproof, that's why you put the shit in it. I think that's okay. Um, what about the, the hose? Uh, maybe that's a bit gubbed. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the cabling's a bit gubbed. Um, that's okay. Cables can be fixed. Um, Considering that, uh, that, that fight, that's buggered. Um, 
Right, a few things. That was me trying to take shortcuts. Rufus, come down. Two sacks. Dog scares our neighbour. And then you get. Come on. Come on, you're not very well at the moment. Why are you shivering? R Rufus, come on. Let's go. Come on. What's going on, Rufus? In the house. In the house, come on. Come on, I know you're not very well. Let's go. No. Shame. Might take you to the vets, mister. Right. Okay. You just go in there just now. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Um. Yeah. So. Um. That was a shame. That was uh, entirely avoidable. Entirely of my own doing. Um. Yeah, disappointed in myself there. Um, we're safe, everyone's safe. Um, it looks like the bikes had minimal damage. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a bit flustered after that. Uh, it made for an exciting end to the episode. Uh, where does episode three take us? So, I'm not giving up on this little mishap. We're going to call this bike Firestarter now. Brilliant. We've got a name for it. I think. Um, because I've not been able to run it, um, maybe I was foolish to think I could have got it running in its current state with this uh, janky, janky ass half built electronics. But um, yeah, let's take cylinder head off. Uh, might as well. I, I'm not convinced of my abilities from four years ago, so uh, I'm also taking the cylinder head off. Well, that'll give us a chance to look at the bores a bit cleaner because they weren't the cleanest in the world. Um, I think had the engine fired up, I would have been happy, peace of mind, but uh, it's already it's already there anyway. Um, and we'll take it off and we'll get peace of mind. Um, yeah, we'll do that. God, what an idiot. All right, guys. Uh, feel free to tell me I'm an idiot. I am an idiot, I know I'm an idiot. Um, fire extinguishers are on order, so hoorah. I shall pick this up in another episode. Uh, maybe we'll take this other head off. Fuck's sake. Everything else, let's do another episode where I look at all the bits in more detail and do a stock take of the bike. That sounds like there won't be any fires. <laughs> maybe. Right, take it easy guys, see you later. <laughs>